on. I'll be right there. What are you looking at me for? Corey Matthews, what is your problem? You. What did I do? Topanga, you only went out with my best friend. Well, you didn't ask me. Besides, you came to the make-out movies with my best friend, too. Yeah, but only to make you think... I mean, I was just... Corey, would you just talk to me? I can't. Don't you think I want to? I mean, in my head, this is so easy. I've said it all summer long, a million times. Said what? I can't say it now, here, with all these <laughs> empty chairs around. Corey, it's just you and me. We've known each other our whole lives. We've always been able to talk. That's what's making this so hard now. It doesn't have to be. Look, Topanga. If I had to dream up the perfect woman, she wouldn't even come close to you. Would you be my girlfriend? Yes or no? Listen, I haven't been together with the Panga for 22 years, but we have been together for 16. Okay, that's a lot longer than most couples have been together. I mean, when we were born, you told me that we used to take walks in our strollers together around the block. When we were two, we were best friends. I mean, I, I knew everything about this girl. I knew her favorite color. I knew her favorite food. And then we got to be six, you know, and, and Eric... They made fun of me because it wasn't cool to have a best friend that's a girl or to even know a girl. Yeah, and you listen to me, idiot. <laughs> so for the next seven years, I threw dirt at her. I like to call those the lost years. You were the one who made him throw dirt at me? <laughs> You're a girl, noogie head. And then when I was 13, Mom, she put me up against my locker. She kissed me. I mean, she, she gave me my first kiss. She taught me how to dance. She, she always was talking about these crazy things, and I never understood a, a word she said. All I understood was that she was the girl I sat up every night thinking about. And I'm, when I'm with her, I feel happy to be alive. Like I, like I can do anything. Even talk to you like this. So that's, that's what I think is love, Mom. When I'm better because she's here. And now she won't be. So I'm finished. Corey, come on, let me go. No. Corey, let me go! John, this is a hug, okay? This is a hug. And this is when you hug somebody, when you care about them, and you want them to know that. Now, you cannot leave here, do you hear me? Turner took care of you, he loves you, and you love him. Is that real? Or are Mr. Mack and the center real? You decide, but you cannot go. We can go. John, how could you be in here? How could you screw up on your bike? I have never seen you screw up on anything. I'm the screw up, remember? Come on, you remember. Don't do this to me, John. I don't do alone real good. Look, I know you're in there, but it's like you're not really here. You're not talking, but I know you're here. So I'm just going to talk. You can listen. John, even when I was at the center, it was all the things that you taught me that made me wonder if it was the right place for me or not. But you didn't teach me enough. You and Corey and my parents 
and the Matthews and the handful of people who really care about me, so don't blow me off, John. Don't blow me off, God. I've never asked you for anything, and I never wanted to come to you like this. But don't take Turner away from me. He's not done yelling at me yet. God, you're not talking, but I know you're here. So I'm gonna talk. And you can listen. God. I don't want to be empty inside anymore. talk to me about love or destiny again. What happened? I went there. Okay, I put my heart in the line. She's got a boyfriend, Corey. And do you know what I feel now? Pain. It's like my heart's been ripped out and stepped on. So just do me a favor and stay out of my personal life, okay? Sean, I'm sorry. I mean it. I will. I mean it. Topanga, why'd you bring me here? I want to know what you feel about this painting. Well, I, I don't get what that has to do with anything. L did something happen here yesterday? This has nothing to do with what happened yesterday. This is about you and me right now. You and I were supposed to come here together, and I want to know what would have happened if we did. Oh, so this is some kind of test. Right, big test. Test the biggest. <laughs> well... <laughs> Forget it, Topanga. I'm, I'm not taking a test. Listen, you, you, you don't reduce our relationship to what you think about me because of what I see in a painting. That's not important. What matters is what I see in you and what you see in me. What I see in you? Portrait of somebody I thought I knew. How were you able to spend the whole night talking to some girl, then kiss her the next day and still think you care about because me? Because I did, and I do. You don't! Or you wouldn't be able to do those things, Corey. Those things don't just happen for no reason. Listen, don't tell me how I feel about you, okay? I know how I feel about you. And she kissed me. Oh, and you moved away? What did you do to stop her? Nothing. Nothing. I said, kiss me, baby sweetie. Kill the relationship with a person I care about more than anything and make me miserable for the rest of my horrible life. That's what I said. <laughs> her kiss meant nothing to me. And you were right. Those kind of things do not happen for no reason. They happen to teach you something. And I know now that I will never, ever love anybody more than I love you. What do you see in the painting, Corey? I see an attack. <laughs> an attack. An attack from another world. <laughs> An attack from another world. All right, let's look again. What about the relationship between God and man? Oh, okay, I was about to get there. Um, <laughs> see, God, unhappy with how some particular humans treat other particular humans who love them, has decided it's the end of the world. I think he's right. God is protecting the people in this little town. They live their lives and they come out of their houses and they see the sky. And they know God's protection and love. And that everything will be all right. Listen, how do you expect me to see good in anything when I feel so bad in here? This is just a painting. This is a masterpiece. We're a masterpiece. And I don't care what you think right now. We're gonna be together forever. And I know that. But you still need to find that out. You know where I'll be.
happiness of the entire world my responsibility. What an idiot. What am I supposed to do? Made all those little kids smile. Took care of everybody that came to see me. No disrespect, but why would you send me that little boy? Why doesn't that nice little boy have parents? Why doesn't that nice little boy have parents? Why did you send me that little kid? And why do I only come to you when I need something? <sighs> you shouldn't have to take care of everything, right? I will take care of this. I can be responsible for the happiness of one little boy. Please bless my mother and my father, and please let the new baby be healthy and live a good life and be a good person. And please bless Eric and Morgan and, and Jack and Sean. And please help them get through this tough time. And please take care of Chet, and, 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 and please don't let Sean get too crazy. And, and, and please bless Angela, and please let them always be together. I, I mean, not that I'm pushing one way or the other, it's just that I, I want everybody to be happy. And please bless the panga. And thank you so much for bringing her to me. And, and please let us always be together. No matter what happens. And even if we're not completely compatible, please just let us learn to be completely compatible. And please bless Corey, who's the greatest guy I've ever known and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with. You know why? Why? Because I want to change everything about you. <laughs> I wasn't sure this day would ever come, but you were. I wasn't sure that love could survive everything that we put it through, but you were. You were always strong and always sure. And now I know that I want you to stand beside me for the rest of my life. That's what I'm sure of. <laughs> I have to talk to her now, okay? <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Um, ever since I was young, I never really understood anything about the world. And I never understood anything that happened in my life. The only thing that ever made sense to me was you and how I felt about you. That's all I've ever known. And that's enough. That's enough for me for the rest of my life, Topanga. We gonna get married? Yeah, we are. Good, good, because, um, I have these rings. I love you, Tabanga. I love you too.